my Hebrew brothers and sisters, the 12 tribes of Israel scattered all over the earth, welcome back. This is your Moray Yeshua Ben Uriah Israel. I want to take this moment to thank you for your subscriptions, thank you for your likes, thank you for your comments. I've responded to a couple of the comments. Um, you know, I've been spending a lot of time, you know, studying and so I, need, I really need to take some time off to answer some more, but I just want to let you know we thank you. Thank you so much. And we are asking that you continue to encourage your family and friends, you know, loved ones to, you know, like and subscribe. Okay? All right. Um, my brothers and my sisters, it seems like everywhere you turn around, you know, there are trouble. Trouble. All kinds of things are going on. Um, in Florida, the, the, the governor is um, trying to go against, you know, teaching certain black history courses um, in the school. You know, right now we're going through the, um, that is starting today, February 1, this week, or this month is what we refer to as the Black History Month. And so those who are against us as a people, now, my brothers and my sisters, when we talk about against us, um, they, they, they're more than one group of black people, okay? We are the Hebrew Israelite, and um, those of us who are direct descendants from Abraham, uh, Abraham, Jacob, Isaac and Jacob, okay, we are the, um, they are our ancestors. But we also have the Kemetic people that we refer to as Hamitic people, okay, in different parts of Africa. And uh, they're, they're scattered all over the, the, the world too. You know, they're, they're everywhere, but it's a different group. Okay, so when we talk about black history here, uh, we're talking about, you know, Hebrew Israelite black history. Because we're the ones that came, you know, our ancestors were brought to the Americas, to the Caribbean and other different parts of Europe, you know, and sold into slavery. And, um, you know, we know who did it. And um, some of the people did it, the Arabs did it. And, you know, and other people, who have assumed our position to a point, and um, they, 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 as a matter of fact, they, they in, like in, in, in Jamaica, my understanding is that they were not allowed to um, under the British system. They were not allowed to, to like, have them, have slaves, like, but they, they couldn't have them at their homes, like, so, but they would hire hire slaves from, from other plantations, you know, and so they use us too, right? Uh, but you know what, my brothers and my sisters, it doesn't matter what they do and what they say. You know, we're going to continue to be strong and we're going to continue to move on because Yahuwah, he called us to a purpose. And if we are not careful, you know, we can miss out on the purpose. But we need to stay strong, you know, uh, those of us who are African American born and Caribbean born, you know, we know that, you know, we are descendant of either Benjamin and, 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 and uh, and also Yehuda or Judah. And we know that on my mother's side of the family, you know, we have people, the trace of history back down to Ghana. On my father's side to Sierra Leone. And we have on both sides of the family, we have both Hebrew and, you know, I mean, we have both um, Yehuda and Benjamin. All right?
So we're going to continue to, to, to move on. We're not going to allow any, anyone to stop us and no, you know, to hinder us from, from the, the, the blessings that Yahuwah has promised to give us. Okay. If you can prove your ancestry, but my brother and my sisters, we have different group of people who are claiming. <laughs> oh, praise be to his name. We have, you know, Anglos who are claiming to be the true people of the Bible. We have Chinese, Koreans. We know that the Asian people, we know that Asian people are from the study of the scripture, they are comedic. We know that. Okay? But some of them are claiming, you know, to be um, the people of Abraham. And then we also know, we also know that the East Indian people, some of them uh, claim Hebraic ancestry coming down, you know, and um, so we, 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 we know that some of them probably are, okay? But my brothers and sisters, let me say this. If we band together, pray together, seek out others' welfare together. We know that Yahuwah is going to give us a special blessing. And we have to remember that. Okay, so we, we've been talking about, uh, okay, we, we finished Psalm 9, right? Which was, you know, thanksgiving for justice. And in, in, in Psalm 10, this is another prayer for justice. Another prayer for justice. And um, my brothers and sisters, let me say this. Please, if you have the time, please sit through a session if you have the time. And I'll tell you what, I've been going over 30 minutes in some of those sessions and I know the time is limited. So I'm going to try to keep it you know, right around 20, 20 minutes, you know, keep each session around 20, because I know you have your responsibility, you have your children to take care of, you know, you have school, you have jobs, you know, you, you're doing all kind of stuff, and I want to be, you know, I, I want to make sure that I don't take advantage of situation and giving you more um, you know, that you can, you can handle at a time because of the schedule that you have. You know, we, my, my wife and I, we raised three kids, okay? And um, we, so we know the responsibility of raising children. And, you know, you, you have a lot of things that you have to do. So we're going to start out in, in, um, in, in, in verse 1, chapter, the Psalm 10, verse 1. We're going to start. But let me say this again. That when we come to the key words, that you know, we study the key words because you can't just read, and as you read, you know, you just sometimes some of those words you know quite get them, you know, and you don't get the full meaning of the words, you know that you know. So so in order for you to really have the benefit of Understanding what's going on is to go through the key words with me. Um, some of them are, are, are extensive words, you know. You know, some of them, some of those words from the Hebrew, and the, you know what the meaning of the words are. So please don't get discouraged. You know, I'm going to try to talk as you know slow as I can, which is not so easy for me. Okay. Because like I said before, when I get excited, I just keep talking and talking and going, going faster and faster and faster and faster. Like, you got to be driving hard down the road to catch up with me. <laughs> Praise be to his name. Praise his name. Well, hallelujah. Well, let me say, my brothers and my sisters, I love you and we pray for you. And we just pray that this 
uh, you know, this Bible study series that we're doing, you know, will really, um, you know, bless you. You know, my brothers and sisters, like as, as, as strangers, as pilgrims, you know, that's what we are. We're, we're pilgrims, we're traveling. You know, here where we are now, where we are scattered, it is not our final home, okay? And, uh, and so, you know, we, we, we need to get to the point where we don't sit down and like we drop anchor and we, you know, our anchor holes in the solid rock. <laughs> oh my goodness. And, you know, no. The solid rock is Yahuwah, Yahuwah, Yahushua. That's if we want to, to drop our anchor in. Not the place where we live, you know, because the place where we live, we, we, we're only occupying it for a little bit. Okay, we don't know how long we're gonna be, but we are occupied for a little bit. And my brothers, my sisters, and uh, for those of you who don't know, yesterday was my birthday, but I'm not gonna tell you how old I am. Okay, I want you to guess that. And um, okay, so you just continue to pray for me that I will um, be, you know the vessel that Yahuwah wants me to be, okay? A vessel that is fit for the master's use. All right, so um, let's go on. Then. You know, Psalm 10, verse 1, and it started out, you know, by asking the question, said, Why standest thou afar off, O Yahuwah? Why hidest thou thyself in times of trouble? And so we see here that um, David is asking this question. Asking this question. Okay? Why? It's like things are going, it's like you're going through all kinds of issues. Perils. You know, this, this, is, this is what part of our lives, my brothers and sisters. And he's asking, like he's asking Yahuwah. Because it seems like the answers are not getting to him as quick as he would like it to be. But my, my brothers and sisters, in, in, in our anguish, in our time of need, I want to let you know that. Yahuwah is coming through for us. Okay, he is coming through for us. So we don't need to get discouraged. Right? But he's asking the question, why hidest thou thyself in time of trouble? And I want to know that the word time here is a word eight, eight, eight. Uh, and, and, and the word, the, you know, the original Hebrew word, eight, uh, is, it is um, ayin and tav. Ayin and tav. Okay. And he's asking, okay, hold ho, ho, ho on. Why hide this? Thyself from me in times of trouble. So the word times there is eight. Okay? And, um, and it, it, it's a part of a speech and it's a noun and it's in the feminine. Okay? And the transliteration of the word is eight. If, if you want to say, it, like if you would say transliteration from the Hebrew into, into like I said, there is. You know, you cannot compare English and Hebrew, okay? But if you were going to, it, it was like saying E-T-H, E-T-H. And it have, it have, it have a, a, like a long sound, like it's a take, 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 like the A, you know? And uh, this is a funny, phonetic spelling of it, it would be like A, A, A. You know, and um, it would be like you say A Y T H, 
Okay, that's what it would be like. A. All right. So there's just a two letters, two letter um, consonants, right? That make up the word. You know, A and Tav. Okay, and um, you know, Tav Tav is the last letter in the Hebrew word in the Hebrew alphabet. Tav. Okay, and and so. The, uh, and as I said, in definition, it, you know, it's time. Time, you, know, you define it as the word time. And it's, 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 a lot of, it's a lot of word connotations because what happened, the word there, time, in, you know, it, it's like a whole lot of different applications, okay? It's, it's a, a variety of application not just one it's the same one Hebrew word mean a whole lot of different application you can you know it's one word right but you can apply it in so many different ways okay um it, it probably comes from another Hebrew word ana ana uh, and um and and by definition it's time okay and when we look at the, the translation of it, like, you know, what, what it really means, uh, times always are, you know, we talk about appointed times. Um, sometimes we talk about circumstances, uh, you know, continually. Uh, you know, if you split up times, you know, like intervals of time, you know, uh, sometimes you, you say meal time, okay? <laughs> Uh, you, you, you know, uh, if, if you're talking to a person and say, when? Uh, you can say, when? When you're going to do this? Or uh, when you're going to, you know, you, you can say no, or you can say, you know, tomorrow or whatever. But, you know, it's, it's also a period, you know, period or a season. And, and some, so, some are sometimes are timely and so on. Um, times. Uh, when, you know, whatever, whenever, um, a year, and so, right? So, so the, uh, another, another word, um, that, that's, it, that's what it's saying there in, in the word time. Okay, look in verse, look in verse 2, look in verse 2. He said here, first, you remember what he said? How, you know, how long I have to wait? How long, you know? You're going, to, you're going to, like, you're not listening to me. You're not doing what, what I ask you, my request. You know, and, but remember my brothers and my sisters. Um, like our cousin, way back, David, King David. He, 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 there are times in his life where he's, he's impatient too because the amount of perils he's going through. And that moment, he, you know, he just waiting and wanting to see something happen, okay? And in verse um, 2, he said, this is what he said here, he said, the wicked in his pride doth persecute the poor. He said, let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined. So, so, so here, the wicked people, not only that they after David, okay, but the poor people, you know, they, they, they persecute the poor people, you know, and, and so all the devices, all the plans, right, David is saying, you know, let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined. Okay, so whatever they plan in the mind, okay. Um, the, the word, the word, um, we want to look at the word. Let me go back here. Wicked here. Okay, the word wicked. Um, there, there are three things we want to look at in this verse. Wicked and device and imagine. Okay, these are the three key words we want to look at. Rasha is the word wicked. Rasha, Rasha. And the wicked is, is a criminal. Okay. Uh, um, and the original word here is, is, is a Rasha is Resh, Shin, and Ayin. And, and those are the, the um, you know, the, the Hebrew consonants that make up the word. 
Resh, Shin, and Ayin. And um, it, it, as, if you think about the part of a speech, uh, is we talking about like an adjective, okay? And um, Rasha is is the way it's pronounced. Rasha, Rasha, Rasha. Okay, and wicked, criminal. It, 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 you know, the word originally probably come from an unused root, a definition. Uh, um, you know, uh, you know, but but in general, come out to be the wicked person is a criminal. You know, is a criminal. Evil is a is an evil man or evil woman. Evil men or evil women. The guilty. They are, you know. Is a man, uh, offender, ungodly, he, the wicked, you know, wicked man, wicked man, wick, you know, wicked one, uh, wicked ones, and so on. So there's a person there, okay, that's wicked. Okay. What I'm going to do, my brothers and my sisters, I promise you, I'm going to keep it just around 20, 20, 20 minutes or so. This is, we have about 21 minutes here. And so we're going to stop here in, in, in verse 2, and then we're going to come back in verse 3, okay? But um, the, the, I want you to notice, um, the next word here, the purposes. The, the, you know, the, the, the purpose, uh, the discre- you know, discretion, a device, what they, the thing that they have done, right? Yeah, um, like the word... There is a um, mem um, say no mem and um, uh, mem and mem and, and hey and um, it's, 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 it's a word there, my brothers and sisters, that sometimes you look at it and you know you say, wait, what is that word there? Zain, Zain, Mem, Zain, and um, and and um, and Mem again, and He, and um, it, it's a noun, feminine, and it, it, the, the word translate. If you translate already, it, 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 it's a Mezima, Mezima, Mezima. Okay. And the phonetic spelling is mezima, and uh, means purpose or uh, you know discretion or device. Uh, very ex- ex- exhaustive word, and used in a variety of, of um, application. You know and the origin, the original word mezima may come from the word. Zamam, Zamam, okay, and um, discretion and device. And, um, you know, devices, evil, discretion, evil, devices, intent, plan, plot, plots, purpose, purposes, you know, schemer, a person who is a schemer. Um, you know the thought, the thought process, um, the violin. You know the, the deeds. Um, the, you know they, they do wicked things or vile deeds. You know the wicked. They, they do scheme. You know, you know, I mean they, they, they are always planning some kind of schemes. The wickedly. You know, and um, and another word is. You know, kashab to think. Um, you know, kashab to think, and this is chet aket um, shin and 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 bet, and uh, not to to think or uh, you know to account for something. Uh, the original word is like I said is. Um, Ket, Shin, and, and Bet. And um, transliteration is Kashab. Kashab. Uh, you know, 
and it means to think, account, uh, and it comes from the original Hebrew root. is a is a word in Hebrew is like aprim, aprim, aprim. Okay, and uh, it still comes out to um, to show to think or uh, to account of, for something, accounting or uh, you know to calculate, compose, to consider, considered, you know, counted, count. Designer, um, you know, determine devices, uh, you know, devised, um, devising someone of always devising something, you know, um, esteem, execute, uh, have or impute or intend or to make or our makers are meant are mindful or plan. You know, uh, you know, planning, you know, a uh, uh, plot, okay, um, pondered, you know, purposed, uh, reckoned, regard, regarded, regards, and uh, require, and, uh, you know, require an accounting for something. Are uh, schemed, are uh, schemed, are uh, same, are uh, skillful, are uh, like a skillful workman, are uh, to think, or uh, you know the thought process, you know, uh, value and so on. Um, I, I probably said I was going to stop at twenty minutes. It's twenty six minutes, and that's still going. So, my brothers, my sisters, we're going to ask you to be a blessing to someone today, and walk with the King. Shalom.